Now, Paige represents the entire studio, meaning the control room and this room. You see it's got the microphone panel up there, that ends up being that or that. And the microphone is plugged into that panel, and then it goes through the wall, and then it goes into the mixer. And then everything in the mixer goes over to the patch bay, and everything in the control room goes into the patch bay, so that I can manipulate it at my will in the easiest, fastest, slickest amount of time. Now 35 is a block diagram or an older block diagram of that room. This is the flow of the studio. All these things are in the patch bay. The big square in the middle, that represents the mixer. Okay, now up in the upper left-hand corner, it says bus out one through eight. Now you see the lines that are drawn from that and they go up to the multi-track recorder in one through eight? Those go through the patch bay, but they are normaled in the patch bay to the eight track in. And the reason why it's normaled in the patch bay, and I'll explain normaling in just a second, the reason why it's normaled in the patch bay is because that's what you do 99% of the time, bus one out of the mixing console is going to go into track one of your multi-track. 99% of the time, until you change your mind. But we don't want to have to use a patch cable just to do something that it does most of the time. So we can wire our patch bay in such a way so that it's got all those holes present. As a matter of fact, you look at that patch bay 43, there is not a patch cable in that patch bay right now. But I want you to look at that because right now, without a patch cable, we can go in, turn that whole system on, we can have microphones come into the mixer, and I can send 24 tracks out to 24 tracks of tape recorder without a patch cable. I can bring those 24 back into the mixer and push buttons and listen to that tape recorder without a patch cable. And I can send the mix out to the two-track mix recorder without a patch cable. I can send my headphones out to the headphone amp without a patch cable. All of those things would go through the patch bay without a patch cable. But they're in the patch bay in case I want to access them or get something into them. In the patch bay, I would normal my bus outputs to the multi-track. Now, what do I mean by that? If we had our mixing console, okay, and down on this side, there's all these buttons, and then there's all those faders. And then on this side, there's eight faders, which are the bus outs. Bus number one goes up, and in its plug, we plug a plug. Over here, we've got our eight-track tape recorder, or you've got any kind of multi-track tape recorder. This is in right here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My inputs. If you went and bought your mixer and you had your eight-track tape recorder, when you got home, you'd get your guitar cable, you'd plug it into your mixer, and you'd take the other end and you'd plug it into track one of the eight-track. Bus two, you plug your guitar cable in and go right to the eight-track tape recorder. We got all eight of them plugged in with your regular guitar cable. Now, a patch bay, all you're doing is cutting that cable. You put a plug on this side. Now, if I plug a plug in here, I have bus one out on the end of this plug where I can put someplace. And you put a plug here. If I plug a plug into there, I can go into the eight track tape recorder track one. All you're doing with a patch bay is cutting the wire and putting plugs in between so you can access them. And when you normal it, you wire it in such a way so that you don't need a patch cable for it to work all day long.